Hey y'all, Big Jim here coming to you from Deer Camp in Kansas 2020. I just want to do a little video here to show you the proper way of mounting our bow quiver onto a bow. Um, we've got a video out there for putting the two-piece bow quiver on, but the deflex bracket that we sell as an option for our quivers has become very popular. Made a couple of modifications to them throughout the time to make them even more sturdy. Uh, and some guys don't understand. I mean, I can see where it might be a little bit confusing at times. So, when you're mounting with any bow, or any quiver, when you're mounting a strap on onto the bow, you want to keep it in and around the fade out area so it's not moving back and forth with the limbs when they oscillate when you shoot. Also won't affect uh, the way the arrows shoot that way. So, just like our two-piece quiver, you pull the strap around the top, and lock it into place, move it to where you need it to be. Now there's a beam or a rod that sticks out from the uh, bottom part of the, the bracket. Now this bracket is completely adjustable for different types of bows, and what it'll do is allow you to move the arrows back and forth to line up with your bottom limb. Um, so if you've got a short bow like the Thunder Child, and you just had a strap on quiver, it would be uh, much further out in front, just like that. But this bracket allows you to move it back in line with the, with the limbs and it doesn't get in the way in a ground blind or um, when you want to lean on a tree or something you're out shooting targets. So you take that stud, you put it on the belly side of the limb, hold it with your thumb, take the inside strap, pull it around pretty tight, it doesn't have to be super tight, hook it on the bottom. Take the second strap, do the exact same thing, it can be tighter or or the same, however you want. Now, you take the inside strap and pull it through and there will be a button on the outside of this bracket that you snap those straps into place. So, those bottom quiver straps will strap onto the first button and strap onto the second button, both of them. That makes it super solid. And I think that uh, if you follow those guidelines, you shouldn't have any problem mounting the quiver. If it doesn't line up the way you like it, you just, with a screw and a, and a pliers, you can move them around to different holes to get it to wherever you need it to be. So we offer the quivers in a small, medium, and large. This is a small quiver. Easily holds three, uh, three blade broadheads. I could probably get four in there if I was careful. Easily will hold five two blade broadheads. You can get either a four or five arrow gripper with either one at no difference in price. Uh, understand you could put four arrows in a five arrow gripper, but you can't put five in a four. So if you get the, the four, you're pretty well stuck with four. If you just like doing the three arrow gripper, the five spreads them out nicely. So you can put three arrows uh, in your quiver, like in a small one or medium, whichever size quiver you get. And just spread them out nice and evenly in that five arrow gripper. And you get a little bit less weight, mostly because you have less arrows in there. So, take a look at our website, BigJimsBowCompany.com, and you should be able to find what you need on there. Lots of different quiver options. Bracket is an option. It's a deflex bracket. And uh, I think you'll like what we have to offer. Mm -hmm.